Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock, and I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Coming to you live from the basement of my Seattle apartment. That's right, where lighting is poor. <laughs> Anyways, well, did you have a wonderful weekend? Did you have a good Easter? That's, did you, lots of chocolate and all that stuff like that, doing the Easter Perlo dance, right? Everybody gathered around the fireplace, if you have one, and you Perlo dance, ate chocolate. I know I did. I sure did. I didn't do a video Saturday night, and I didn't do a video Sunday. Uh, no, Friday. What, what did I not do? I did not do a video Friday night or Saturday night. That's right. That's what it was. Because it was a long weekend. But I, did, I gave picks out. I gave lots of picks out to Patreon people who uh, you can be part of if you go to the uh, Patreon in the bio, in the description. Just hit the link. I'll give you a month for free. Lots of people are doing it. Actually, thank you very much for those people that have come over. The support helps out an awful lot. It helps me, allows me to be able to keep on bringing you this fine programming every day. Doing my show, which you will get. Uh, today is now, what is today? Today's Sunday, the what? Fourth. Today's the fourth. So I have a show. I have a show tomorrow, three to five on this channel. Uh, come join us. We're going to be doing uh, all your picks, and we're going to keep. We're going to start keep seeing, keeping a tab of your picks, and getting you are going to get points. And at the end of the month, there'll be a winner, and maybe we might have some swag. We're going to try to figure out what we're going to do with that. But uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. And also we just talk hockey, talk about trades, talk about goings on, talk about games, who's gonna win, you know, all that fun stuff. So three to five Eastern, come watch the show. All right, um, we, have, uh, we had no letters. Everybody must have been doing Easter. Don't forget to send your letters. We go down there in the mail room, Guido, he goes down there and picks them up every day. But the sack was empty this past weekend. So don't forget your letters. Uh, also, I had to go to the Spanking Institute, Perlow's House of Spanking, this weekend because Saturday was not a good day. It's a good thing you didn't get picks Friday because Saturday, Colorado versus uh, the uh, St. Louis Blues, Colorado had Johansson in that, who a, the Sabres commentator said that he believed in his 20 years of commentating for the Buffalo Sabres that Johansson was the worst goaltender he ever saw to put on a Buffalo Sabres jersey. Bennington was in net for St. Louis. Or, or was he? Yeah. And Bennington has not been having a good year. Colorado's been crushing everybody, and St. Louis has plenty of shooters like Tarasenko and such. That's over all day. We had huge pearls on that game. 3-2 going into the sec third. All they got to do is score a goal. Empty netter. Doesn't matter. Nothing. Lost a crap load. Made up for it today, though. We'll be talking about that. We're going to talk about our games. Not totally made up for it, but we, we, we got our feet back on the ground again. So, here's our picks. I said first five minutes. Holy smokes, I'm running running along for you impatient folk. Here you go. The ones that don't have time for all the shenanigans and, and frolic and joy and fun and and every laughter that you have for the whole thing if you watch it all. For you people, I'll give you right now. I like to shame you, even though there's no shame in it. Okay. Canadians ML under six flyers puck line over five and a half, that's against the Bruins. Jets and Reg over the Ottawa Senators, under six. Avalanche money line versus the Wild, under five and a half. Vegas Golden Knights money line 
under five and a half. I believe that's for St. Louis. I didn't write it down here. Uh, Leafs money line under six versus the Flames. And Kings in regulation versus the Coyotes under five and a half. Okay, there you go. Off with your head off to do whatever you do instead of doing this. I don't know what that could possibly be more important, but, you know, maybe you got to save, like, kittens in a tree or maybe children are dying somewhere in which case off with you okay let's go to our uh, see what happened okay what we're going to do here is we're going to look at how we did on today uh, and so you can see how well we do and then we're going to go to our picks so let's go to it Games for today. There we go. Okay. Just finished. All the games just finished. I like Sundays because they finish early. Red Wings versus Lightning. We had the Red Wings. And we had the under. But we had the Red Wings bigger. I did. When soon as they put... Uh, what the frick is his name in that? Uh, it tells you here. Gibson. This guy cannot catch with his left his glove hand hasn't been able to his whole career i couldn't believe they put him in why didn't they put i mean mcelaney was bad enough mcelaney's not having a great year either but gibson i don't even know how he plays it's a miracle he actually he does so well in the minor leagues his numbers aren't bad for a goaltender who can't catch with one of his with his glove hand that's weird that's like not being able to shoot on your backhand and scoring 25 goals. It's really weird. Anyways, we had the big pick was the Red Wings. We got it. Uh, we had a small pick, small pearls on the, so we're up quite a bit. Uh, capitals versus, I was for one unit. So, oh, I think it was puck line. So we got double. So we made two units on there. Capitals versus Devils. We had uh, the Capitals, and we had the under, but we had big on the Capitals, and we only had it on the money line. No, you had it in reg. I'm sorry. So that was all just under two. So we made three units there, one unit, one unit, just over one unit here. So that's three, four, four units we're at. Uh, we had the Panthers money line for two units and the under for half a unit. So did we, was it two units? Let me see. Publish, this is my Patreon of Frolic here. You can check it out. I do, uh, I didn't have time to do the analysis, but I usually do analysis on all the picks. Large, we had it for large pearls. Sorry about that. Even I, I was, I was I was cheating the wrong way. We had it for large pearls. So we had, um, that's uh, what, no, up three units, 60, 60, 120, two units, two and a half units. And we were already up three. So we're up five and a half units. Hurricanes, we had the Canes for two units. And no, oh, we were large here too. So another two units, and we had the under. So we're up lots. Like, we just stopped counting at this point. We had large pearls on the under five and a half. We got in early. Apparently, this dropped down to five somewhere along the line, but I had it at five and a half. And uh, we went large on that, but we did have the ducks to win for small. So we're up, again, two... Another 2.5. And then we had the Maple Leafs ML and over five and a half. We got in that last night. If you're a Patreon member, I put that in last night for large pearls, which is three to five, whatever my Patreon or whatever they want to do, large, whatever they consider large is. Uh, five and a half. I said, this is going to go up. This line's going to go up. Sure as heck it did. It went up to six. It would have been a push. But we got in at five and a half, and we had the Leafs. So 
I wouldn't say we made up for the weekend, but we did pretty close to made up for the weekend. But we did, we're down for the week. For the first time this year, we were down this week. Not much though. This brought, Sunday brought it up quite a bit. Almost breaking even, I would say. So, of course, Canucks and Jets were postponed. So, let's go to our picks and see why we did our picks. Uh, okay, we have Montreal versus Edmonton. To tell you the odds, I'm not huge on this game. Not huge. Montreal just took a dumper against Ottawa. Price did not look good. And I'm afraid he's not going to look good again. In which case, I like Edmonton here. I'm swinging back and forth because Montreal really has Edmonton's number a lot of the time. They win a lot against Edmonton. Smith will be a net for Edmonton. Edmonton on the road, they flew all across the country two days ago. They should be settled in not too bad by now. This is a tough game. I've got Canadians ML right now. I love the Canadians depth at forward more than Edmonton's. I think it's going to be a tight game either way. You might want to Oilers PL this. Might be the best play. You're not getting much though. I think you're only getting uh, spread. Yeah, 1.44. Maybe in a parlay. But as of right now, and this could change, I'm going back and forth in my mind about this. I'm thinking maybe I should just take Edmonton because the juice is so good if it's a coin flip for a little bit. So that was a difficult one. Uh, this is not really much better. Two struggling teams, Boston, Philadelphia. So I'm going Flyers PL. I like them. I like the uh, you're getting 163. Um, Carter Hart looked really good last game. I know he's going to get back on his feet again. Halak has not looked good at all either. So I'm going to run the over here at five and a half. More probably with a bigger bet than the actual line. Do Philadelphia PL for to uh, make up in case the, it goes to an under. But right now I like over five and a half with Halak and, uh, you know, possibly Carter Hart had one good game, but he's still been very inconsistent. So I'm leaning Philadelphia to at least come close to that game. Ottawa versus Winnipeg. Winnipeg in reg and under six. Why under six, you ask? Um, the Ottawa should be putting Gustafsson in that, but the big thing is Hollabuck should be in net for Winnipeg. I just don't think Ottawa is going to be able to score enough on Hollabuck to make a difference, enough of a difference on, so like maybe a 4-1, 5-1. I could see this PL, Winnipeg PL, if you like to gamble a little bit. I like to play it safe, go into the in, go on the in reg, which is about 167. If you go PL, you're getting almost double your money, though. Not a bad play. Minnesota versus Colorado. Minnesota is uh, a tough team to go against at any time right now. They're finding ways to win a lot. Talbot and Grubauer should be in that here. I'm, I'm wondering if I shouldn't go Minnesota PL here. The, pro, the thing is Colorado, they had a rough one against St. Louis as far as I'm concerned. They still won the game. But they should be dominating, 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 dominating. And they have been up until that St. Louis game. I think they have more rest here. I think they're going to go hard again and probably take this money line at 160. But Minnesota PL at the same price is not a bad play either. Uh, I do like the under with Grubauer and Talbot. They are hot right now, hot. Vegas versus St. Louis. Um, I got Golden Knights ML and under five and a half. Bennington really played well against Colorado, but he has been inconsistent. Ve Flurry should be in net for Vegas. He's had a little, maybe it'll be Laner. This could depend on the uh, goaltender who's going to be in maybe, but I'm going to go under five and a half and Vegas ML. 
Toronto versus Calgary. I said it in my last. Uh, I said it on my last uh, thing to my Patreon members. I can't trust Toronto. I can't trust Calgary in anything right now. Uh, Toronto should be playing Campbell here. Calgary should be playing Markstrom. Calgary's spot to win was tonight, and they didn't. I think now with Markstrom in, I don't think they got a chance against Toronto here. I'm taking Toronto and Mel. Might even push it to in reg. I probably will lean the under here, especially if it's a six. Uh, uh, totals might be hard to come by right now. Oh, shoot. What the heck? Totals might be hard to come by right now because, yeah, there's no real lines. This says six. It'll probably be a six. I'll go under because it's a back-to-back. And they're playing their better goaltenders. Campbell is just insane. I don't think Calgary will score enough. Unless Toronto really blows him out, which is possible. I still, for now, I'll lean the under. Los Angeles versus Arizona. Arizona just played against Anaheim. Played in overtime. Are going to Los Angeles with the back-to-back. -back. Peterson should be in for Los Angeles. I'm going to go the under here. But barely. I think Los Angeles could light up Hill here. If Hill's playing back-to-back. -back. We don't even know who's going to be in net for them. I don't even know who their third-string goaltender is, to tell you the honest truth. It'll be their fourth-string goaltender. So watch out for that. For now, I'm going under. Because Arizona probably won't score enough on Peterson. Peterson's playing crazy good. And I'm going... You're getting 192, 187 on the money line for Los Angeles. That's gold. Do it, Los Angeles. Okay, there we go, boys and girls. That's our full 42%. That's, I'm going to give you picks for the rest of the week. So come join the frolic. Uh, you got my show there going on. Thanks for subscribing. I'm hitting, trying to hit 800 right now. 800. I just went over 700. Let's get us up to 800. Woo! And uh, that's your picks. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay. Bye.